Hey guys, Jake Wasikowski, senior reporter with Channel 3. We were outside the Best Buy at 168th and Dodge where police have taken a couple of robbery suspects into custody, bank robbery suspects. Uh, apparently the bank robbery happened in the Fremont area. We just got on scene, so we're really learning a lot as, uh, as this is happening. But as you can see, State Patrol, Douglas County Sheriff's, Fremont County, or Dodge County Sheriff's, Fremont Police were uh, all involved in this. So uh, we're going to give you a look at what's happening out here outside the Best Buy right now. We do have one of the witnesses that's going to speak to us here in just a quick second. Let's go ahead and uh, try to grab him. You want to, let's go grab him real quick. For an just an interview. Just. Yeah. They were assault. They had assault. I mean, when they came in, those guys, every one of them so, came in had an assault rifle in their hand. So yeah. that was kind of. Uh, so, sir, you said you you saw what was going on in there. Uh, you know, kind of tell us what what was happening. Uh, working on the display, and a couple of cops came running in with their assault rifles pulled, and they told everybody to get down on the floor. And then after that, there was probably about four or five more that entered the store at that time, and they were looking for somebody, and you they were in the bathroom. At the time. You said two suspects. Yeah, there were two suspects. They were looking for that were inside the store. They said that ran inside that store. They were able to get them pretty quick. Yeah, they got them. Got him in a matter of seconds. Yeah. How crazy was it? You know, yeah. seeing all it this. wasn't too bad. I mean, everybody hit the floor like they were supposed to do, and everybody stayed calm, quiet, and they got him, and then they let us go to the front of the store. They moved all of us to the front of the store, and then when they went in to get him, and then they made us come outside, and then they brought him outside. When you found out there were bank robbery suspects out of Fremont, what do you think? You know? well, that's crazy. To be running this far. But at least they got him. We've been hearing a lot about bank, you know, rural bank robberies. I mean, you could call Fremont, you know, a little more rural. Than, yeah, uh, that would be rural. Yeah, and you, you, you glad that police worked quickly? Oh, you know, yes, yeah, that they got them. And you can stop all this madness. I understand it's the holiday season, but this is crazy. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. And at least they got them. Nobody got hurt. That's a good thing. Yeah. And they caught them quickly. That's even better. You didn't see them with dr any guns drawn? No, draw I didn't see them. Like I didn't even see the guys enter the store, yeah. actually. I mean, because when I mean, they came in, they must have been quiet because we didn't hear them coming to the store. They didn't have any weapons on them or anything like that. And, and your name, sir? My name is Brian O'Neill. Uh, well, how do you spell your last name? O N E A L. And it, Brian with an I or? With an uh, I, yes. Yeah, with an I. All right. Brian, thanks. Thanks so much for your time here. Wow. Yeah, Brian, again, so that was, uh, Again, Brian O'Neill, he was uh, inside the store when this was happening. Let me uh, go ahead and get closer for you so you can take a look. Yeah, I mean, Fremont isn't rural, but, you know, we've heard of a lot of uh, rural bank robberies as of recently. And, uh, you know, you're hearing, we're hearing from the FBI that they're targeting, you know, smaller towns and uh, smaller cities even. And I would consider Fremont, you know, one of the smaller cities where, uh, you know, maybe they feel like uh, there's not as many resources as in Omaha or things along those lines. So we got a, a number of uh, authorities going back inside right now, as you can see. Uh, Brian uh, told us a little bit earlier uh, that uh, two suspects came in. Uh, they told everybody to get down. When the police came in, they were able to apprehend them pretty quickly. Uh, we heard they may have been armed at the time, but it's unclear. Uh, they apparently, again, were apprehended pretty quickly. But as you can see, uh, there's a law enforcement line all the way up and down outside the Best Buy on a 168th in Dodge here. K9 is out as well, heading back in, uh, possibly looking for a third suspect that we uh, you know, may have heard about uh, earlier, but uh, again, unclear at this point. Uh, you know, witness said that uh, they had ran in the bathroom and uh, the suspects were apprehended pretty quickly in the bathroom area. Here at, uh, the Best Buy on 168th. Clear right now, I uh, you know it's it's very early. I, I didn't know exactly which bank in Fremont was the one that was robbed. We had just heard through uh, reports that it, it was a robbery in Fremont at a bank, but it's unclear. Uh, possibly three suspects were armed at the time and led police on a chase. Uh, you know through obviously uh, Highway uh, 275 on down. What we heard as well and into the the Dodge area, Dodge corridor. We heard that maybe the uh, suspects had been. Uh, running through uh, some of the, the brush, some of the ravine area, and ended up here inside the Best Buy.
Just so you know, guys, we're going to have to do some news gathering here as well, so I'm going to try to keep this up as long as I can, but i got to do some news gathering here as well, uh, you know, while out, out on the scene here. Um, so I may be a little shaky, maybe uh, not commentating as much as possible, but uh, I've got to do uh, some other things as well because uh, there's lots going on out here. But again, uh, you see a uh, number from the... Uh, State patrol, as well as uh, police, uh, sheriffs out here as well. Uh, all the Best Buy employees have been uh, evacuated at this point. Well behind us over here, um, you wait. In the backpack. Okay, it looks like we have possibly uh, one of the men involved in the back. Sir, were you inside when all this happened? Or? Yeah, but I was way down the other Oh, corner. really? It's kind of crazy to you know, think that. I had two, two caps on my shoulder, turned around, there was a bunch of artillery sitting there looking at me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, I can't imagine. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple of positive bank robbery suspects from what we've heard. So. Well, I just found out about that myself. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah, coming on out. I didn't know. Oh, man. It's scary. Big store in the Apparently, they may have ran into the bathroom or something along those lines from what we heard. Yeah. What channel are you with? Uh, channel 3. Let's see if I got 23 and 3 marks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're hearing more about possible where the bank was. We're hearing that it's the First State Bank on 23rd in Fremont. So that's a bank where apparently uh, the man may have been, or the, the bank robbery may have happened. Okay. Thank you. Sure. No. No. I appreciate that. I, do you know which one or anything, or just? Uh, okay. Okay. But um, State Patrol. State Patrol, and then the FBI will actually be out here as well. Okay. So. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. case so we just heard from a uh, deputy with the uh, Douglas County Sheriff's Office who says that uh, State Patrol is on their way. At, is inside, and they're actually handling the scene as well as the FBI. So this is a. Uh, very active scene still uh, figuring out uh, exactly what happened but uh, again we're hearing that it was uh, the bank on 23rd in Fremont um, First State Bank 23rd Street in Fremont is uh, where we're hearing at this point so uh, let's uh, we want to try to get one more interview out here still just to uh, get a uh, number of people still hanging out Oh really? You were really? 
yes. way back there. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw that they just told us to make our way to the front. Really? Jeez. Yes. Yeah, we, we heard it was, uh, you know, a couple of guys may have went into the bathroom. That's what that's what we're hearing from uh, some of the, uh, the other people. Uh, yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, OPD officer said she's going to come talk to us here shortly, too. Do you mind if we ask you a quick question before you get out of here? Is that okay? I'm with ch Channel 3. <laughs> so, hey, wait. Come over here real quick. Well, <laughs> it'll be, it will be nice. It'll be nice and easy. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> You don't have to worry about the camera. You can just uh, you know, look at me. Uh, you know, talk to us. Uh, what did you see in there, or what what was happening in there when this was all going down? We were at the very back of the store, and uh, we heard some commotion, uh, like a lot of yelling. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, turned around, and there was a policeman with a gun and telling us to move to the front of the store. How how scary was it to it see was all that? Pretty When you, when you find out it was a bank robbery possibly in Fremont, uh, you know, a couple of suspects here, uh, what, do you, what did you think when you heard that? Well, you know, we went through those couple of bank robberies in Norfolk several years ago, so it makes you really, those didn't turn out too well. So it's pretty scary. Is that where you're from? Oh man, is it you still live there right now? Yes. Oh man. Yeah, so, hey, did you come to Omaha and you think <laughs> something like this would happen? Thank you, Joan. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, see uh, people out here as well from uh, Norfolk. Uh, uh, seeing all this too. All right, ladies, have a good day. Only this is the only excitement you have for the rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> trying to come into the Best Buy, still trying to figure out, uh, not really realizing that uh, there's an active crime scene going on inside the Best Buy. Uh, some witnesses still talking to uh, not only sheriffs and OPD, uh, uh, as well as uh, FBI and uh, State Patrol. So, We're going to be up at noon here. Photographer Wayne Lux is uh, getting ready to uh, set up our live shot here for noon. How close is it to even? Yeah, we got about 20 minutes, so we'll stay out here and uh, you know, continue to show what's happening at the scene. Let me head back, though. We, where all the uh, most of the Best Buy employees are standing out here towards the back. I'm not really sure where they all went at this point. Again, we heard from one one person who was working inside at the time said that uh, the suspects ran in the bathroom. Uh, we also uh, heard from another who said that the police came running in, and the authorities came running in to learn to get down at that point, too. So, I'm gonna put you guys down for one minute here. Uh, just hang tight. I gotta do uh, something real quick. I don't know if people on Twitter know about what's going on. But uh, let's see. That's what you can see for now. I'm gonna leave you down here for about two or three minutes.
cows in the dip there, Jake? I don't know. Everyone was shooting earlier, so I thought maybe you heard something. I'm going to go So I'll go over there. I'm trying to do all my social media. To us right now. Okay, we're gonna go here from uh, Yuma Police Department. Uh, what's happening? Seven is not over there. Yet. Captain West, hey. Okay, wait, Captain West. All right, we'll go ahead and get started yeah. here. Just give us the nuts and bolts of what has happened so far. All right, uh, start out this morning about 9 a.m. There was a bank robbery that was reported at First National Bank inside High V at 15th and Center. And then a little before 11, another bank robbery came out in Fremont. And with a Fremont officer following that vehicle towards Omaha. And right around 11 o'clock, Nebraska State Patrol picked up that vehicle and initiated pursuit, and it ended over on 174th and about Old Lincoln Highway. And the trooper saw three parties run from that vehicle, and uh, one went down to the creek bed, and two were seen running across Dodge Street, and came over to the Village Point area. And shortly after that, a report came in that an officer was in leaving Best Buy, heard all the sirens, cars expediting, and recognized one of the possible suspects that went inside the store. And so he directed officers' attention over to Best Buy. And so we had officers from Douglas County Sheriff's Office, Nebraska State Patrol, and Omaha police officers converged on the Best Buy and cleared out all the employees and the shopping, the citizens, and searched the building and located two suspects inside the store and they placed them into custody. So right now we have detectives from all of our different agencies just communicating, trying to get on the same page to figure out all the details of the entire investigation to see if everything's related from today. So do you, do you think the high V robbery and this robbery are somehow connected? Um, well, so just to be clear, Best Buy was not robbed. It was a bank robbery in Fremont. Fremont and yeah. so all the detectives and the FBI are working to determine if it is indeed the same suspects or not. Were they armed at all? It was reported to be armed bank robberies. And what, three to suspects total? We have three parties in custody at this time. Where was the third person? Were two of them taken in custody here and then yes, some, actually, one else? And then the other one was found around the creek area to the south of Best Buy. What did he ditch the vehicle around? I believe it's around 174th and Old Lincoln Highway, but with just all the different radio traffic and you know everyone's trying to get on the same channels, it's not real clear. But I know State Patrol has the scene over there, and actually State Patrol is in charge of the investigation so far since it's possibly from Fremont. So they ran across the, the highway or the expressway to get over here. That is my understanding. Anybody hurt in all this? No, there have been no injuries reported taken into custody without incident? Did they put up a fight? I'm not aware of that. I've not been told there was any fight, so I believe it was you know, without incident. And just you, one vehicle? That, yes. Do you know if the vehicle was, was possibly stolen? I do not know that right now. I'll have to refer you to the Nebraska State Patrol, since they're the ones that initiated the pursuit, and they'll be following up on that, and they have the sus uh, suspects in their custody at this time. With all the bank robberies that have happened recently, how do you feel about the uh, response and the outcome here? Uh, I think it was an overwhelming, great response. I was surprised when uh, I got here and saw all the different agencies, everyone working together and communicating. I think it worked out real well. What are some of the challenges and dangers when you have a situation like this happening at a mall? Well, of course, because the safety of all the citizens and all the you know civilians in the area, we want to you know make sure that their safety is number one and getting the suspects taken into custody as soon as possible. 
So do you think they were just trying to blend into a crowd or something? I mean, possibly. They just, you know, wanted to get away and, yeah, it's not as noticeable with, you know, in a crowded store versus walking down expressway. We don't know where these suspects are from or anything about them at no, this point, do we? Actually, no. We have no information at this point. This was all born out of looking out of Fremont and then pursuit. Yes, I'm sure. I mean, everything that's occurring here at Best Buy what was followed from Fremont. And so all the detectives, and like I said, the various agencies and the FBI, they'll be working together the next couple hours and trying to piece it all together. And at this point, no reason for the public to be fearful of their safety right now. That is correct. Um, they had all the employees and all the citizens in the store the exit immediately, and they searched the store, found the suspects, and then again, they searched it again to just to make sure that it was safe and everyone is accounted for. Will they be investigated for bank robberies that happened other than today? Oh, absolutely. They'll look at, like I said, with the FBI, they work with all the different jurisdictions, and um, they'll definitely look to see if, you know, they're involved in other ones in the past. Well, we were about a minute late. Can you just pick up where you started at the earliest from Fremont? Yeah, and you know what time that pursuit started? Over Fremont? Uh, a little bit before 11 all right, guys, again, uh, let me show you exactly what's happening out here. We just heard from the captain. She says it all possibly started this morning at the uh, high V on 50th and Center at 9 in the morning where uh, a bank robbery happened or a robbery happened at the uh, high V. Then, uh, you know, around 11 or a little bit before 11, uh, a bank robbery in Fremont on the 23rd Street area of Fremont. Uh, then the, the pursuit happens. Somebody uh, in Fremont catches wind of it. Uh, starts pursuing uh, the vehicle and up ditching the vehicle about 174th and Old Lincoln Highway. Uh, the, the suspects run. Two of them end up jumping over the uh, the highway, uh, West Dodge Road, and uh, trying to uh, you know escape that way. Well, uh, a police officer here at Best Buy spotted them and uh, alerted uh, authorities. I, I think it was. Uh, actually off duty I believe at the time but again uh, First State Bank on 23rd Street in Fremont is where that uh, that initial bank robbery happened but we just heard from the captain here uh, giving us an update so guys uh, I'm gonna have to uh, let you go here in a few minutes because I got to get ready for the noon newscast so we'll have uh, everything put together including uh, more witness sound uh, coming up in our newscast uh, at midday as well as uh, four five and six so guys thanks for watching and uh, make sure to uh, like our Facebook page